I'm Terry Beaubois, and I'm the director of the Creative Research Lab in Montana State University. Terry, what excites you about current metaverse technology? Um, in 2005, what excited me and what continues to excite me is the potential for a virtual environment to be a prototyping environment for the design of objects, the design of spaces, the design of buildings, and the design of communities and for it to be a place where we can use it for instruction, teaching, learning about how to create those objects and how those objects interact in a multidisciplinary collaborative environment. So people are learning from um, those of other professions at the time they're learning their profession. I think that's very important. What concerns you about current metaverse technology? Um, Again, I've been saying the same thing since 2005. Uh, it needs to be stable, it needs to be reliable, it needs to be dependable, it needs to have be able to import and export uh, 3D objects, not just for the sake of importing and exporting them, but the design process is iterative. It isn't linear, and so it isn't a question of doing something outside the metaverse and then bringing it in and then taking it out. It's a question of bringing it around again and again, because the metaverse can represent a really incredible environment to create in. So you may take it out to show it to some people, they have some great comments, and then you bring it back in to modify it again. Or even use the metaverse to show it and do the modifications as well. But somehow it needs to be more interoperable. What would be the most surprising impact of metaverse technology on society within the next decade? The ability to show someone a building that doesn't exist yet and make design modifications to it for, you know, um, a limited amount of time and budget that if it was weighted and done in the field would cost ten to thirty thousand dollars. What areas will metaverse technology never overcome? Close-mindedness.